Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is the Ozaki iCoat bubble case for the Apple iPad. Now I must admit that before receiving this product I hadn't heard of Ozaki. I'm glad that I've come across their products now. Absolutely fantastically packaged. It's actually available in a couple of different finishes. This is the clear one, there's also sort of a smoky grey version as well. And I just love the packaging. We've got some Ozaki branding on here. Absolutely fantastic. Just take a look around the back. We've got full details about the case. Now, their US website is uh, all the W's.ozaki.us. You can also find them at ozaki.co.uk. So let's get this out of the packaging. Pop this to one side. Really nicely presented and extremely easy to uh, get into actually. Let's just take this off of this back packaging. And underneath here, we have also got some extra bits and pieces. But, uh, we have got some instructions. I'm not going to take this off of the uh, packaging here, but instructions on how to apply the screen protector. We've got a little microfiber cloth as well. The rest of this is just packaging really fantastic that the manufacturer supply a two-piece screen protector for your iPad. Now I'm not going to install this on mine because I've already got one uh, on my iPad but by two-piece what I mean is, is you remove uh, side number one first of all indicated by the number one then you apply this to the screen of your iPad and then once you're happy with the application you remove uh, tab number two and that removes the second coating and leaves you with a really thin film protection to your device. Fantastic. Loving the design on this as well. They've got their Ozaki logo on absolutely everything. So this is the case. This is the iCoat bubble and it's got a nice little feature. I'm going to show you in a minute once it's actually on my iPad. This is my first gen iPad and fitting in the case really simple I normally go in control side first and this just allows the controls to slip into the case nice and easily and then it's just a simple matter of just easing the edges around your iPad like so and it's very very soft silicon it's not going to damage your iPad but take a little bit of care while you're doing it there's no need to rush putting it in the case and there we go that's round that edge and we just make sure that all of the edges are securely around your device there we go now one of the things that a lot of people ask me is do cases like this affect screen protectors well I've got a matte finished screen protector on my iPad already and what they're looking for is to see if the case actually lifts up the screen protector in any way well as you can see round all of these edges the actual uh, Ozaki eye coat goes over the edge of the bezel by probably about two to three millimeters so it doesn't actually lift up the screen protector in any way so that's really good I like that a lot let's look at the ports on the top we've got cutouts for the earphone socket the mic and also the sleep wake button on this side here we've got a cutout for the uh, lock rotation or the mute switch, whichever way you've got it configured, and also the volume rocker. Just down here I've noticed there's a little uh, mark on the case, which uh, probably isn't intentional, but that's actually in the plastic on this one, which is unfortunate. Uh, maybe just something with my particular review model. Down the bottom here we've got three cutouts here, aligned perfectly to the speaker. Another cutout there for the dock connector. And then of course this side's completely clear. Around the back, We've got this really nice design, loving the sort of reflective nature of that. Looks absolutely superb. And in each of these little um, pockets, uh, there's actually uh, a bubble of air. Um, and the reason they do that is to give you extra protection. So if you were to drop this on a desk, instead of the case hitting the back of your iPad, you've got some sort of movement in these air bubbles which is going to give you extra protection now the air bubbles don't make their way round onto the side so if your iPad landed on a corner it's relying on the flexibility of the silicon case 
Uh, the feature I wanted to show you is just this section here and if I lift this up actually I thought this on first inspection and you have to forgive me for being stupid I thought this was some sort of flap that came up to allow you to dock your iPad but what they've done is really actually quite clever instead of putting the bubbles all the way around the case which would make it very thick at this point they've actually um, made part of the case thinner so this part of the case is just very very thin uh, silicon covering and what that will allow you to do is actually dock your iPad onto a docking station or a speaker or a charger uh, without having to remove the case because they've kept it just so so thin around this section so it should help with using this with docking devices really like it a lot it looks like it offers up a nice amount of protection price wise the iCoat bubble from Ozaki is going to cost you $34.99 in the UK round about $73 if you're in the US I think that's a really nice case love the design and these air pockets just give you a quick close up of these air pockets they really do offer up a nice feel to the case and some extra protection which is what it's all about this is the iCoat bubble case from ozaki.us or ozaki.co.uk if you're in the UK thank you very much for watching please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geek and Noise channel this video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK with a price promise guarantee